Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. When you, you said in 2005, so there was a time where you felt like I got to get back up on my, you know, my good yeah, foot. Man. Like, like early on you had a deal right with, yeah. with, with and it wasn't a good deal it was a horrible horrible deal. Deal. I, mean, I ain't gonna say it was a horrible deal but it opened doors it opened, people know I you say, i ain't gonna say it was a horrible deal like you know for me it's just you just signed the damn paper then you say i ain't i ain't gonna even say i just signed the paper bro. <laughs> no, that's what people I ain't gonna do say right I just signed the paper it was just more like i didn't understand the power i had okay okay I, dig, I can dig it. Because you had, you constantly had somebody over you that knew you were going to have that power. Like, okay, QC and them, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They Shout out QC. They tell Lil Coach Baby, K. they tell Lil Baby, you that nigga, dog. You got the power. You mm -hmm. you could co-change everything. I had a nigga over me that didn't want me to know I had that power. Yeah. Because okay. he wanted that power. So mm -hmm. if he seen me getting close to that power, it's like, yo, shut him down. Shut him down. No, 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 he doing too much. Mm -hmm. Man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you got to have, it's like, Everybody around me had a real OG around them. You know what I'm saying? You had the, you know, even Pac had Suge. You had For sure. Bow Wow had Jermaine. For sure. Nelly had Kuda. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I thought you would have worked with uh, Jermaine. I don't know why in my you mind. Got, but see, I thought Jermaine, this it's crazy because Jermaine and the nigga I was working with hated each other. That's crazy. So it was like. The niggas I wanted to fuck with, I couldn't even because the blessings was already blocked because this nigga had so many problems already. <laughs> you know, no, yeah, you know, I get it. I get and it. you roll with the people you roll with. It's yeah. Like, so it's like to me, I was young. I wasn't at the time. I wasn't knowing all that. But growing up, I learned like, yo, why you man didn't really fuck with me like that? Yeah. Boom. But you know, we did the hardball together, stuff like that. So you know, shout out to Jermaine too. Shout out to Bow All I'm like, you know, I felt like there was things that could have been done to make that happen even more. But um, you know, when you got two people that's from a whole different decade, because I think it's like. The nigga I was with had stole some, a song or something from Jermaine back in the day or something. So it it was going deeper and further than <laughs> I was even. It was going deeper and further than you I even had to do it. Man, we we you know we so in control but so out of control at the same time. It's really God. I, I keep hearing it, but everything you do is already it's, it's already, already been written. set up. It's man. already like, written, bro. You know, anytime I'm anytime I move, I tell nothing's by coincidence. It's like it's yeah. already written because. Yeah. I always wonder, yo, why I didn't do this more? But then when you learn, and if you learn later, it's like, oh, they they been had. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. would have never happened. You know, Man, what you I'm know, saying? I hear the stories even with Jermaine Dupree talk about uh, when when Puff got into it with Suge, and he was he was in the you know they was at his place and all this. You hear all these it puts stories. You in the middle. It puts you in the middle. Exactly. So it make you like, dang, you know, yeah. like. What you know, like you don't never know what's going on behind the scene, right? Yeah. You've you've seen that being that you've been in, you've been around a long time. Yeah. How, how hard? I mean, how was it a depressing thing? Because I've had people on here, and I won't say their name because I'm gonna let them live. Mm -hmm. But uh, that that used to have it going on. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, bam! They lose it everything. Like like nobody's checking for them no more. You and know what? I, wait a minute. And when I see them. They, they, you could tell that the, it's a depressive state they put them in, where they can't figure it out. And you know, it's easy. It's easy to get stuck in that mode as an artist. You know, I just refuse to let myself get there. You but know, what you, I'm you know where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, no, no. It's, it's, it's. I know exactly what you're saying. It's like you be up for so long, or you be in a great position, then things don't stop going the right. The start stop going the way you have it going, and it's like you could see it in the dude. You could see it in their face. It's not the same. Yeah, I think. Maybe for like, maybe like a year or two, I might have had that. Maybe I remember feeling like that. I remember, I remember feeling like people could just look at you and feel like, damn, this nigga's not doing too well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mentally. Because you just, but I don't feel like, I just was trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to figure it out. But one thing, I was always honest with myself. I'm like, yo, I ain't got this shit figured out yet. I knew all the answers. I'd be every. I'd be up. You still giving yourself room to grow. Yeah, Most and, that's, people, and I always say that. To some them. people think they already arrived and all this other crazy yeah, stuff, you yeah. know, and 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 they lose it because they can't really figure it out because you really were never where you needed to be, no way. But exactly. in your mind, you thought you made it. Exactly. You know, it's so much more to it, man. It's a chemistry. I always tell people the people that I've met in those rooms needed to be there, and you could tell they was supposed to be there. You see what I'm saying? Like the room don't operate the way that a lot of people would think. From the outside looking in. Right. And that's how I feel like now. It's like, I'm supposed to be in that room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. Like before, if I had to question it, it's like, y'all wouldn't be in that room right now if I wasn't supposed to be in it. Yeah. I feel like, you know, you it come a time where you know, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.